Welcome back. It's Knack. We do have some serious tournament play coming at you right now. We have got all hardcore, our Terran player, the savior of the human race, going to take on Microstar, a fantastic Protoss player. Let me tell you guys a little bit about this matchup. All hardcore. Some of you guys have probably seen this guy around. He is very active on the ladder on the North American server and tons of fun to watch and, and quite a baller I might add I mean he is and he's, and he's also a very personable guy he, I mean he'll play all sorts of fun games with people he'll let people observe and he's actually very very nice to a, a lot of players out there so fun to be around if you guys see him around give him a big fat high five he will be spawning as the blue Terran on Zelnaga in the top right and a little bit about him he is a master player going up against our red Protoss player here in the bottom left and he is Microstar and he is a Diamond League player and very good as well I might add. Now I think in this matchup a lot of people are going to be leaning towards all hardcore and I won't say that I'm not but I am interested to see how well Microstar is going to be playing him and I know that they've actually played on several occasions before. Actually I, I and they haven't played with me before, but I think they may have played before that. So maybe I'm misspeaking there. I, I might be thinking of a different matchup, actually. But uh, we do have a scout here from Microstar being a little bit of a pesk. Looks like he's trying to block a wall in here. All hardcore, trying to chase him off. We do have the second SCV coming out to go ahead and finish that up. And a scouting SCV headed out across the map right now. So very, very exciting stuff. We do have a gateway on, on the way for Microstar, and he is still floating around the space trying to get as much information and be as much of a pest as he possibly can. He hasn't done any damage to any of these SEVs in a little while, though, so it looks like he'll be scooting on out of there, go find somewhere else to be. Um, there is one gas, and I, he did see that, so let's take a look at his... Uh, his vision, he did scout that gas, and I guess that was enough information for him to back out for a little while. We'll see what he's going to do to uh, to try and build and prepare for this uh, matchup against his opponent, All Hardcore. Gateway is now completed, and Cybernex Core going down immediately, as well as a Vespian Geyser. So a little bit late on the, on the second Vespian Geyser. Well, maybe not. It's not that too late. But he did have his first Vespian Geyser down in, in good time and saturated appropriately. So a uh, pretty standard play here for Microstar so far, but this is a build that can open you up to several different things. So we'll see what he chooses to do. We still don't quite know what he's going. Let's see if he saturates this assimilator right away. I assume that he will. There's two and three. So yes, fully saturated very quickly. So we're going to see either some tech or maybe a lot of sentries. We'll see what he's going to do for sure here in just a moment. Warp gate technology on the way right away. I got, you just got to love watching good players. I mean, look at this. They have very little unspent resources. And let's take a look at their income tabs real quick. They're about even. The Terran player just slightly uh, behind and ahead. This must be because of this mule. It, the, it fluctuates a little bit more when you have a mule mining. But let's take a look at APM. I just want to see, give you guys a little bit of knowledge here into the, the world of good players. Microstar keeping a very good high APM going this whole game. He is very serious about taking on all hardcore. And all hardcore, quite honestly, is not spamming his APM at this point. He's averaging 66, 67. I mean, you can see the spikes, though. I mean, you know this guy knows how to move his mouse and his keyboard. He knows what he's doing. He does have an expansion going down up here in his main to be flown out at a later time. He does have this wall off completed and one marine standing here to guard. He does have a tech lab on this uh, barracks and a reactor going down on this barracks. And a third barracks on the way so it looks like some pretty heavy marine, probably, probably some heavy marauder build as well. We do have a bunker going down right here at the main, a little bit further back than I would probably put it, I usually would put it like right here so that they couldn't position like stalkers and such right here and be taking this out because this they would be out of range of this bunker here which is kind of interesting to see from all hardcore but 
Um, he, you know what? I shouldn't question him too much because, quite frankly, he is a better player than I am. So i got to be careful with the stupid things that I say. We do have this Reaper that he built earlier coming across the map. A uh, good reaction time here by MicroStar trying to get these guys out of the way. He just does not have any units to deal with this. So a little bit of uh, Miss Mike. Well, I guess it's not Miss Micro, but he really should have seen it moving around the back here. So these sentries going to have a little time trying to chase it around. He'll do a lot fare a lot better with this stalker. Trying to get these guys back to work as quickly as possible and get this main resaturated. Oh, and taking out that Reaper right before it can get off the ramp. So good play there by MicroStar. We do have a scan going down by All Hardcore. He wants to see what's going on in the space. He is going to see that this robotics facility is producing a unit. He will probably suspect that that is an observer. So he'll know to prepare for having an observer in his base. And right now he is tossing down two bunkers on the low ground. Looks like he is prepared to move out this command center, which is just finished morphing into an orbital command. Morphing. That's not the word. What do you call it? Converting. I kind of use switch terms back and forth between races a lot. I guess I do that a lot. But we do have two tech labs, so probably lots and lots of Marauder play at this point, which is not a bad choice against a Protoss player. Those Marauders do significant damage to most of those gateway units, except for the Zealot, but with the slow, you know, they're pretty stinking good against them because the Zealot can't quite hardly get over there when they're slowed down. They're super slow when they don't have the their zealot legs, which we don't have on the way as of yet. We do have a robotics bay going down right away, so this is not bad timing there for MicroStar. Looks like he's going to get some Colossus out for us here very shortly. Uh, still no forge. I would like to see a forge and possibly, a, you know, at least an attack upgrade or even a, a, any upgrade at this point. And I imagine that he'll probably will go straight for. The range upgrade for the Colossus, which is the extended thermal lance upgrade. Let's see if he's going to drop that down. Yes, he does. And we do have a starport and a factory on the field. This factory is building a reactor. So my guess is, is that he's probably going to move the starport into that position after this, after the starport is finished and start pumping out a bunch of Vikings and or Medivax. We will see what he's going to do. Our Protoss player taking out the rocks at his gold expansion. We'll see if he is actually going to put down a Nexus there right away or not. Interested to see if he is going to push out that far for his economy. He does have this probe skirting around the base trying to get as much intel as he possibly can. There is a missile turret going up here for a little extra detection so he doesn't have to use that energy. To, to kill those observers and keep those observers out of his base. We'll, hopefully Marco Star will get this out of the way. He does. He gets it out of the way in time before this missile turret finishes. Barely in time. So good job there by Micro Star. These rocks just about done. We do have a pylon going down right here, so it looks as though Micro Star is going to commit to expanding here, I'm guessing. And let's see if we've got two Colossus on the way. There's one queued up. Probably a little bit of misspent resources here. You might want to. He might want to wait in the future for that first Colossus to be closer to done before you queue up another one. But uh, all hardcore. Geez, in very good position. Getting quite a few upgrades. He's getting infantry armor level one and weapons level one. He is pumping out quite a few medevacs from that reactored starport. So he is going to be massing a very hefty Marine Marauder Ball here at this point. And it appears that he is going to start moving out right now, try and get there before his opponent is able to get too many Colossus out. I think he scouted that. Let's check real quick if we can before... Nope, he did not scout that. He did not scout it, so he does not know that there are Colossus on the map at this point. So this might be a good thing for MicroStar. We'll see what he's going to do. It looks like he's going to back out at this point. I think he may have caught wind of something, but I just... Did he toss down a scan? Let's see what he did. No, he didn't toss down a scan over here or anything. So I'm wondering why he backed out there, but uh, probably a smart move because those Colossus probably would have done a great deal of damage to that Marine Marauder Ball, even with that many... Uh, Medivacs above him, that's six Medivacs, so it's not a bad looking army that he's got here, and with those upgrades coming, he's going to be pretty scary here very, very soon. 
So MicroStar looks like he's going to try and expand here at the gold expansion. Not necessarily a bad choice. I just worry that he's getting that he's getting a little bit behind in his upgrades. And I don't want to see him do that. I mean, he's really going to need those upgrades here very soon if he intends to beat all hardcore. So here comes some movement here from all hardcore. He's kind of moving around the map, trying to figure a couple things out. I think he does see this observer, so he knows that he's been spotted and decides to back out there. Um, his, the observer telling MicroStar the size of the army, and MicroStar almost deciding to move forward there, it looked like. But this Nexus is about to finish, so I think he's probably going to wait till this Nexus finishes, and he might as well wait for a couple more units. We still have more gateways going down. It looks like he's going for some heavy gateway build. He is getting researching Blink right now, so that's good. And charge so very good and he is finally got those forges up and he is getting ground uh, weapons level one and, and and armor level one so finally getting some serious upgrades here for our protoss player he is moving out across the map right now and it is right as this command center is moving so all hardcore did not see this this observer here and this command center appears to, that it is going to go down we'll see if this ball is going to be able to stop that doing a lot of damage with these Colossus, the Colossus going down very quickly to these Vikings. So very good play there by All Hardcore, just decimating that army. He's going to be able to chase down these Stalkers, I think, very quickly. Stimming and moving down here to cut his opponent off. Let's see if he opts to take out this expansion or go straight for the heart. I'm thinking All Hardcore could probably safely take out this expansion with no problem and even move right into his opponent's base. There is one more Colossus on the field right now. MicroStar desperately trying to get these warp gates up so that he can get out enough units to make a defense here at this spot. The scan going down to see what's in the base. MicroStar moving back and he's, he's just allowing these warp gates to go down. There's just not much he can do. I, I think he knows that he can't really engage this army head on at this point, so he's trying to get a little bit of a flank. Trying to micro back that Colossus is just not working out, and these Marauders and Marines stimming to take out these. these uh, Stalkers, and there's the GG. Got himself out of position there with those Stalkers. What a fantastic game, and very nice play by All Hardcore. Good game, gentlemen. We'll see you guys in the next match.